Well, Broadway is slowly coming back. There are some great ways to get your theater fix right now. One is a new virtual play with more than 60 performers and playwrights coming together for a period piece. And one of the stars, Jessica Hecht, is here with us now. Good to see you, Jessica. Thank you. I love seeing you, Sarah. Ah, the feeling is mutual. We got a lot of things to talk about. So let's talk about um, period piece. This is kind of in the vein of vagina monologues, right? It's this wonderful virtual experience of 36 monologues that were written by incredible playwrights from around the world. And they're performed by 36 different actors. And they, um, they talk about it. No, don't get worried. It's not just about your period, but it is about <laughs> what one's period means to them, what crazy, crazy things related to the experience of being a person who has a period, but it's all going to raise money for this incredible organization called I Support the Girls, which brings period products and bras to women all over the world who have no access to that. And so it's, it's three performances, different yeah. actors, different monologues. Do you know yet kind of the story that you're telling? I tell this story as written by Sarah Rule, who is, I have to say, the, the most um, thrilling writer for me to perform because I, I feel like her voice speaks to me in such, a, in, in such a deeply personal way. And she tells the story during the pandemic of losing her period in which she feels that she's going through menopause. Mm. And it's very moving. And it's also about, it's about loss and it's about owning your body. And but yeah. when you think about what women my age feel about not having their period for all of those years where you're like, this is just so frustrating that every yeah. month. And then, then the sense that of uh, shame that you no longer will have something that identifies you as young. Yeah. And I think that's something that we're moving into as a culture, recognizing that you actually live more of your life without your period than you do with. Hopefully, if you live a long life, yeah, a whole life. I mean, that, that just left me with kind of this at first heavy feeling like, God, that does. I mean, I, I don't look forward to that, right. but you have to come to terms with it as something that's not a bad thing, that it's OK that you're evolving as a human being. Right. Um, and these are all things that we do have to deal with. I, I can't wait to see this because it is things you don't often think about or talk about. In the meantime, though, you've been busy. Um, you're, you're not leaving the screen behind. Um, <laughs> Hudson Falls comes out later this year with Richard Kind. It's about a small upstate town in New York, right? That's where yes. it's set. Yes. And it's sort of this great like detective story with Richard. Of course, he's like this <laughs> kind of turned on its side, incredibly funny, charming detective. Yeah. But it is. So it's um, and that was that was put together really on the fly with some independent producers who said we, we can't be stopped by COVID completely. We can yeah. see this in this wonderful actress, Tara Westwood, put that together and that and Richard is an old friend. So that will come out and I'm doing I'm leaving um, New York to go do the fourth season of The Sinner. We have to take root in Canada to get that finished. Well, we got to talk about Friends quick. Um, I, the long awaited reunion has been pushed back because of COVID. But when yeah. you hear that people that today, yeah. 16 million people are streaming this show. I mean, can you, does it surprise you? I, can you even wrap your head around how many people that is that are just still watching this? I can't, I can't real. I, it's very hard, very, very hard. Jane and I have stayed very, very, very close. Jane Sibbett, who played, who played my wife. And yeah, and that even in this day and age where being gay is probably more, common than being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> my characters, our characters, our characters, our love story is seen as sort of, you know, um, something to be inspired by. Yeah. It really blows my mind. Yeah. Do you think Carol and Susan would still be together? Oh, yes. Yeah. And like we, if I ever was to, no, if I, if I ever was to become a lesbian, Jane, yeah. she'd be your choice. Yeah. So you'd still be together. <laughs> All right. For all info and tickets, go to periodpeaceplay.com. So good to see you. Be well and uh -huh. enjoy these last moments of family time.